Children learn better when they get hands-on experience. Last week, the Friends School of Portland invited seven working artists to collaborate with the students in a wide range of disciplines and media. Brian Knobloch spoke with James Grumbach, the head of Friends School, about the program. James, tell us about the Visiting Artist Program. Well, we have uh, this year seven uh, different artists who have come to the school to have intensive workshops with uh, our students. They meet three hours today, three hours tomorrow, and then come back on Friday uh, to do a little bit of preparation for presentations and performances. This is the second year that uh, we've done this particular format with visiting artists. There's a wide range of, uh, of artistic disciplines there. There's music, there's media, there's visual arts. Uh, talk about that for a bit. Certainly. Um, the school has a music program and um, an art program, and both of our teachers are practicing artists. But we um, are very interested, and our parents are very interested in having a lot of exposure to the arts. So we like to expand uh, the students' exposure to other types of um, media and also other artists. So uh, as you pointed out, um, we have a lot of uh, performing artists. Um, when I say a lot, we have improv, um, a movement dance class, and then depending on where you slice it, video production, audio production. Uh, so the idea is to let kids see and, and be with uh, practicing artists and uh, to have an intense um, workshop. So um, over, well, I guess, you know, close to eight, nine hours of time with those artists. You have a wide range of ages in the students here. Uh, do, can all of them take advantage of all of those disciplines? Uh, can you know, a, a, a very young child do improv? Ah, good question. There were some limitations um, based on uh, the artists, uh, the groups that they felt they could work with, and um, what we wanted to make in, uh, available to students. But uh, virtually every student had a choice. The difference is in our early childhood program, that's uh, preschool and kindergarten, they have a, a potter who's coming in uh, to work with them in clay. Um, but the other students had at least three choices of workshops, and in some cases, more than that. Uh, part, of, part of our goal was, uh, was to blend the age, ages a little bit more. We're multi-age anyway, so we have two age groups in each class, uh, but we wanted to spread it even a little bit wider for the uh, artistic experience. It's quite a number of hours over a couple of days, plus the performance day on, uh, on Friday. Uh, why do you devote that much time to this program? Well, um, in, in part, it's a continuing celebration and recognition of Martin Luther King and uh, his work in life. So we've asked the artists and the, the teachers to prepare the kids for the week uh, with a little bit of information about Martin Luther King, some of his quotes. This particular year, we have um, an overriding theme of equality. So we shared with the visiting artists the quotes um, that we had prepared from Martin Luther King and asked them to um, think about expressing equality in the work that they do. And we'll see what those results are, uh, how, much, how much that actually happens or is communicated in the final results. Do the students react in a particular way to having actual artists here, people that they know are working in these mediums all the time? Well, um, that's a good question. We did um, an evaluation last year, and we had a similar format last year. And uh, the overwhelming response from kids was that they really, really enjoyed it. I don't know that they, um, in, in regards to your specific question about working with practicing artists, I don't know how much they were aware of that, but certainly um, they were captivated by uh, the artists and their enthusiasm. We had a number of children who wanted to sign up again for the same artist. Um, Michael Wingfield is a drummer who works with our younger kids and uh, there, were, there was a big repeat sign up uh, to work with him. David LeGraff is back for the second time in improv and uh, many of the kids who have worked with him uh, wanted to be in that section again. So many that we ha actually had to um, spread them out a little bit. But everyone had either first or second choice for their workshop. 
If people want to get more information about this program or about the school, where can they do that? Um, they can go to our website, um, www.friendsschoolofportland.org. Um, big, long uh, title there. And uh, we will eventually be posting some photographs and undoubtedly a link to this interview and to the uh, images that, that you captured today.